Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and today we're going to do a review of Airtable. Now, if you're not familiar with Airtable at all, I suggest you watch our video on what is Airtable, because this will give you a better idea on what is a relational database and how you can utilize it. If you haven't actually signed up for Airtable, do so with the link in the description below. Without any further ado, let's jump into the review. First, let's talk about Airtable's free plan. I believe this has been foundational to the growth of Airtable as a platform, simply because of how much value you can receive as a free user. There's no limit to the number of bases you have, you can collaborate with other users, and you experience some of the best features the tool has to offer through its interfaces and automations. As far as freemium models go, I definitely rate this five stars. You'll find Airtable useful even if you never upgrade to other tiers. Now in terms of paid plans, I go more into depth of each pricing plan in our pricing video. But to summarize, you're going to get the best bang for your buck on the pro plan at $20 per user per month. I believe the plus plan is really just a stepping stone to move you from the free to the pro plan and doesn't offer much additional value by itself. But for pro users, I think Airtable is a powerful platform that works well for individuals as well as teams, yielding five stars for pricing. However, I find their concept of workspaces to be quite limiting. I discuss it further in the pricing video, but I think it's frustrating for many organizations to find out that they have to pay per user per upgraded workspace. This often unexpectedly drives up costs or forces organizations to come up with convoluted ways of using a combination of paid and free workspaces to achieve their collaboration needs. Despite the ease of collaborating with users, the workspace model leaves my collaboration rating at a two. Ease of use. Airtable simplifies the concept of relational databases as much as is realistically possible. It's super easy to add new tables, tweak fields, and build new automations. However, I do believe that your admin needs to be someone who's naturally curious and is inclined to get their hands dirty to build the architecture of a system you're looking for. I think of Airtable as a set of Lego blocks, high quality tools that can be configured in any way you want, but it's going to take more time to design and architect your system than many of the Airtable alternatives on the market, especially if you're looking for out of the box solutions. I would consider the sum of individual components five stars, but the time to value is three stars leaving us with an average of four stars for ease of use. Airtable's come such a long ways from only appearing as a database or spreadsheet style interface. While this is perhaps still the most popular way of interacting with Airtable data, calendars, galleries, Kanbans, timelines, and Gantts all provide their own unique experiences that can all be used to manipulate the same underlying data. Couple this with Airtable's interface designer, which lets you build a variety of custom dashboards and interfaces, and the configuration possibilities are endless. Interface flexibility is definitely another five-star rating. How well does Airtable function if you integrate with other systems or extend underlying functionality? Unlike many other platforms that rely exclusively on third-party solutions like Zapier or Make, Airtable includes a number of native integrations to tools you use every day like G Suite and Slack. And if you do need to use their API, it has some of the best documentation that I've seen amongst comparable tools, so you're covered on both ends. Another five stars for integrations and extensibility. Let's go ahead and review our ratings. For the free plan, we have five stars. Pricing, five stars. Collaboration is the weakest of the bunch at two stars. Ease of use is four. Interface flexibility is five. And integrations is five. And that brings our average rating to four and a half stars for this Airtable review. Now, I'm an avid user of Airtable. I recommend it to people all the time. The only time I wouldn't recommend using it is if you need something that just works out of the box for a particular use case. There's better solutions out there for that. But if you're willing to invest a little bit of time up front, you've got all of this configuration ability to personalize the solution and make it do exactly what you want it to do. If you have any questions, comments, I'd love to hear it down below.